Yeah, bitches, the motherfucker kid did, man. Sauce got it. What happened? The amazing sauce, uh, twins. The kid did. Holy sauce, brand drip, Drizzle Washington. Splash, splash, flick it ass. The kid that got the cash off of your bitch's ass. And right now, you was on motherfucking me. Hip hop fix. Houston hop, hip hop fix, that is. Uh, and now, this motherfucking Houston drip hop fix. Right. Your bitch. Hey, this protocol with HoustonHipHopFix.com. I'm in the building with a very special guest, man. Oh, hey! You know that sound. Chill! <laughs> On socks. Splash. Man, I'm really excited to be sitting down with you, man. Thank you for making time. I know you just don't sit down with anybody. Man, you, 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 you absolutely got damn right, man. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, the sauce costs and the ingredients ain't free. And uh, uh, flavor is not the place where... Uh, Damn, that ain't the right thing to say. Well, on anybody camera, it's not the place where sauce needs to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. This is real uh, uh, exclusive and elusive. Everybody can't have this right here. Yeah. True indeed. True indeed. So, man, I'm just going to get go ahead and get to it, man. It's been a busy year. It's been a real busy year. For sure. Uh, 2016 or 2015, as, as you might call it. Hey, now. Hey, now, man. You just got some sauce point. <laughs> I like this interview already. This is my favorite interview already. You got near me. Hey, you talking about it. Yeah, 2015, uh, as we like to call it. Yeah. So, uh, you, you, you got off to it with your twin. Right. Uh, got a new project out, the Holy Sauce, man. Holy Sauce. Uh, right. you, you know, strange the controversy, man. I, I want to go ahead and get that out the way, man. What a cover. You know, you know what I'm saying? I heard it. That cover, you know, it, it, it was just a point that had to be made not only for myself, but you know what I'm saying, for my fans and for, you know what I'm saying, the people and, and, and the public to, to, to just see that at the end of the day, I'm not just gonna allow. I'm not just gonna allow anything to happen to this culture and to this genre in this way that you know we didn't make people believe in with this sauce. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it it, it, it would be like kind of a, a slap in the face or or a letdown for the sauce nation, sauce community, my fans, and people that believe in TSF and what we started with the whole Texas wave and the new genre. For us to just sit back and not have nothing to say, I have no opinion or feelings about people trying to be a part of our culture, being part of our, our sound and our style and not acknowledge us or deal with us. I, um, I've already been putting myself in the mentality of fuck, fuck the rest I'm not worried about what's going on. And during that process, that five or six month period, even though the, the soft stealing and people trying to reuse this ingredients or, or drip, you know what I'm saying? They've been, they've been stealing or been using it, they've been going on. But I was avid and working and doing a lot, so people was real scarce about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? And if they did do it, they would do it and reach out to me or do it and I already be ready for the, you know what I'm saying, the backlash or whatever, versus to that six, five, six month period where I really, I was still posting pictures and stuff like that, but I wasn't really, I was just living, doing whatever shows that come. And during that period of time, they really just went haywire with it. Just, the, the sauce epidemic, the sauce uh, Ebola disease really <laughs> spread it. You feel me, man? You got sauce mixtapes coming out of rappers. I said, a drip in your bitch like water, a special the drip, all that, just a bunch of just, you know what I'm saying, miscellaneous, and then not even just from the small artists, the big, big artists. And a lot of the small artists, you know what I'm saying, and the overcoming artists, they be reaching out. Even the big artists too, like the big ones, you know what I'm saying? Like Lil Yachi and Uzi, things like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, Boosie, you know what I'm saying? Boosie just reached out to me for his last album. Not the, don't let the song, uh, not the All My Sauce record, but the other record he just did uh, with the, uh, I, uh, I think it's called All My Fitness. And we got the, the Parker record on there and uh, a part of the hood, Boosie talking about sauce and stuff like that. So, you know, it's a lot of artists that reach out. The cover wouldn't even all me, like, mm. it was my idea to a, to a high degree, but to a high degree, it was like the fans and, 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 and the, the graphic designers idea because, like, if people know anything about me in my career, like, people know I'm a, I'm a, I'm a character myself, I'm, I'm a real loud, animated person, so a lot of my artwork and a lot of my cover arts, my mixtapes, a lot of pictures that people draw me, fan art and stuff like that, it's all cartoons and things like that. So uh, during that time, like when everybody was doing like a lot of you know using the flavor, using the delivery, the cadence, the whole sauce thing, a lot of the fans and the people are are reacting to it, and they going to their computers, they drawing pictures and memes and mm -hmm. things like that. And 
one of the pictures in it that, that, that came to my, you know what I'm saying, to my um, DM uh, was a picture like of, it was like, it was it was kind of like a, a, a cross mixture between like the Last Supper and, you know, um, the crucifixion of Christ or whatever. And um, somebody had drew that and drew me, you know what I'm saying? on the cross and like had a bunch of rappers at the bottom you know it, it was it was the same idea but it was real different you know and I, I already was feeling like that because I already put out the holy sauce cup mm -hmm. like the idea that I, holy sauce is my next mixtape right. so that's the direction that my mixtape going into with the, you know what I'm saying the, the hands and things I have like another artwork with like somebody had put a, a red bandana halo over my head things like that so People was already getting ideas of that nature there. When I seen that idea, plus all the stuff that I already been thinking about it going through in the rap game, it was like it, it, it was it was no better. It was no better description for it than that. You know what I'm saying? And people actually taking the blood out of my veins, taking my energy, and trying to use it for themselves.